Hello and welcome to We Heart Nails UK. Today we've got a bumper tutorial on how to use your clear stamper. We're going to be looking at what is the purpose of the clear stamper? How does it compare to other stampers? We're going to be looking at how to prep your stamper and how to look after it. We're going to be comparing six different polishes and how they pick up onto your stamper and the different techniques that you need to actually get your stamper to stamp the image onto a nail. We're also going to be asking ourselves, do we really need this stamper in our collection? All that and more. If you're interested, just stay tuned. Okay, so I've got a stamper here that I use on a regular basis and a brand new stamper head here. Now, we need to prep our stamper when they arrive. And some of them come with a slight sort of um, oily sheen on them. Some of them just come up a little bit sort of too shiny. So all we need to do is pop that stamp head out and then just wash it and I use um, a little bit of washing up liquid and warm water under the tap and then I dry it off with a lint free wipe and then literally that is all you need to step all you need to do to prep that stamper. Um, when you're using this stamper and you're picking up that polish onto your stamper head and then stamping the nail, more than likely you're going to have sort of an excess of polish left onto the nail. So that's how we bring in our lint roller now you can get these from the pound shop they're you know they're, they're totally inexpensive and um, they're basically what you would use to um, remove any fluff from your clothing we've got a labrador so i think we've got like about 100 of these in the cupboards but if you haven't got one of these sellotape tape or masking tape does just as well so all you would do with the excess polish you literally just sort of stamp down onto the uh, roller because it's got like a, a sticky surface to it and that just removes that excess polish onto the stamper and that's really as easy as it is to prep your stamper and to look after your stamper when you start using it more. So this is just a quick demonstration. I've stamped onto my stamper head and then I've stamped onto a nail and that's the excess polish that I've got and all you would do like I said is just roll it over the stamper and then you're ready to go straight away. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick demonstration of how to pick up our polish off of the plate and onto our clear stamper head. Now, before I do that, I'm just gonna show you the difference between the stamper heads themselves. Now, you'll see that the clear stamper has a much sort of a steeper camber than the XL stamper does. However, I would still roll to pick up the image with the clear stamper and I'd roll to pick up the image with the XL stamper. I wouldn't press straight down because you're not going to pick up um, a sharp image that way if at all. I know with some of the polishes I've tried out that just by stamping straight down it just wasn't picking up the image at all. So this is definitely a roll technique with your clear stamper. To show you by comparison, this is the Creative Shop stamper and that is a nice flat head. And so with this one, you can just literally press straight down onto the plate and there's your image. So that's sort of the first sort of hint and, and tip that I can give you. Remember to roll your stamper across the plate. And the sort of the heaviness or the sort of how hard you press as you roll also makes a difference. You kind of just want a sort of a very nice gentle roll as you're picking it up. So we're going to take our polish, apply it to the section of the stamp that we want it to go on. We're going to take our stamper, sorry, our scraper. We're going to scrape at a 45 degree angle and then we're just going to firmly press down and roll and you can see how beautiful that image is and when we look down barrel of the nail barrel of the stamper you can also see that stamp there so it's a case of don't really angle your stamper and relax when you do it as well if you're sort of like gripping it you're going to find it harder to um, do that sort of gentle roll so Press down pretty firm and then just roll off. So don't be afraid to push down. Obviously, you don't want to push down straight away. I'll show you actually what it looks like if you just push down straight away. Let me just clear off my stamper. And we're going to do exactly the same. So let's go to this section here. We're going to apply our polish. We're going to scrape. If we then push straight down. Can you see how we're getting a, a really patchy image there? So that roll, well, they're gonna press down from, you don't wanna start over here, you just wanna start about this 
angle if I show you and sort of a firm press and roll and bring it up. And that is really as simple as it is with this polish. Now, depending on what polish you're gonna use, sometimes that technique might need to be tweaked a little bit. A bit and we're gonna show you that in just a moment. We're now gonna be using Essence Stampy Polish. And we're just gonna apply that to the section there. Scrape, firm press and roll. And there we have, look how gorgeous that image has come up. Next one we're gonna be using is Born Pretty. And this is natural stamping polish. We're gonna take that. 45 degree angle, firm press and roll, and again, another really crisp, pretty image there. So we're now gonna be using Barry M in the gold foil effects. Apply to the part of the stamp we want to use. Scrape at a 45 degree angle, firm press and roll, and again, you can see how well that image. Now I've, I've smeared it just a slight bit, and that was just as I put it down, I could almost feel it move on the plate. But you can see that that's a really nice, crisp image that it's picked up. So the next polish we're gonna show you is Caption. Now this, like I said, isn't as highly pigmented as some of the ones that we've got. And I tend to normally put just a little bit more polish onto the plate. We're going to take our, our scraper, a couple of scrapes on that one. And then we're going to use gentle press and roll. And there we have our nice crisp image. Now, the last polish we're going to use is Model Zone. Now, with these, the pigments tend to sit in the bottom. So give them a really good shake and a roll before you use them. So here we go. Firm press and roll. And there we have another really pretty image picked up onto our stamper head. So that's six different polishes, one plate, and the same stamp that we've used throughout. And it is just about finding how to pick up that image. Again, we don't press down, we're gonna do a gentle but firm roll and you'll pick up the image just fine. So I'm now gonna show you exactly what your clear stamper was designed for. I've got my Kona plate here, which I've wiped over with a lint-free wipe and some acetone on it. And we're gonna be using this tiny little stamp, which has got a butterfly on it and I'm using Born Pretty stamping polish, but this time we're going to be using it in teal. Now you're gonna work really quick with this method simply because it's a smaller image and they're gonna, the polish is gonna dry out a lot quicker. So it's exactly the same technique as I've already showed you with our other stamping polishes. It's gonna be firm press and a roll, and then we're gonna put it on the nail, we're gonna line it up, and then a press and a roll to then take the image and leave it onto the nail. we have our nice little image and we're going to put it we're going to put an angle in that corner and there you have it this next image that we're going to put onto the nail is going to show you how your clear stamper can stamp onto the nail and leave a really nice straight image Okay, clean off anything that we don't want to go onto the nail. You can do this with a bit of sellotape actually. And then we're going to line this up. And there we have it, nice and straight and also central. Now this image, we're going to be using the swirl image in the middle there. And this is just to show you how to line that 
swirl up nice and central on the nail. Okay, so we've got a little bit more time with this one because the stamp is larger. And it's a bit more etched than the ones we were using beforehand. Press and roll. There we go, and we're going to get that nice central image. And there we have it in the center of the nail with the perfect placement. So the million dollar question, is the clear stamper for you? Hopefully I've showed you today exactly what the clear stamper can do and really what it was designed for. To me, it was never really designed as an everyday stamper like say the Excel stamper or the Creative Shop stamper. This to me is a more specific type of stamping so like we've shown in the video whether you want a really straight image whether you want um, an image in a particular part of the nail or if you're trying to centralize an image there's a lot of um, full design plates that don't need you to be an exact uh, straightness because it's like a, it's a it's a full picture um, what I've got on my nails, I didn't use a clear stamper, I used just my normal Excel stamper and that worked fine and we've still got a nice straight image. You'll learn as you go along how to perfect um, your straight images anyway. Um, but this really is, it's a great little stamper. I have to say it's probably one of the more sensitive stampers in as much as you kind of really have to refine your um, technique when you're not even just sort of picking up the image, but also when you're placing it on the nail. But as everything with stamping, it takes time and patience and you need to relax and enjoy it. Um, I know I've just written a blog post um, about this very thing, uh, about how frustrating stamping, I found now stamping when I first began. And I actually chucked all my stamping plates and stampers in the drawer for a year before I got them out again. Persevere with your clear stamper. Um, hopefully I've helped you with a few hints and tips throughout the video. And that's basically it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments. You can contact us via the website, We Heart Nails UK. I will put all the links in the box down below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.